Hello everyone. We are meeting after a very long time, especially in terms of educational videos. The last time we met, I think six months ago in March 2019, when I did a video on UCI number related to Excel International level examinations. I hope it was useful for those who were not familiar with the term UCI number. And today I'm going to discuss more of a more generic topic. Uh, the question is, as you probably know already, what's London O level and A level? This term London O level and A level is such a broad and vast topic. In the past, especially a couple of decades ago, people used to take London O level and A level either in addition to the local O level and A level or as an alternative. However, this term London O level and A level derived from the examination board's name which uh, used to be the University of London. That's the name London O level and A level. If you were wondering how the name came to be. Anyway, uh, in the present day and time, London, University of London is no longer governing these examinations with O level and A level. Instead, there are two main players who are providing you this internationally recognized international ordinary and advanced level qualifications. Let's have a look at what these uh, exam bodies are as they are popular known. Moving on into the beehive. So we are going to discuss your options. I told you there are two major players. The first one is the Pearson Edexcel qualifications. Pearson Edexcel is one of the largest educational examination bodies in the world and they are offering qualifications equivalent to local low level and A level which are internationally recognized. The second player is more of a more very well known uh, examination body Cambridge Assessment International Education this is part of the University of Cambridge which has a history of more than 150 years. So these are the two examination bodies that offer so-called London O level and A levels. If you are interested in taking any of them either instead of your local O level or A levels or as an alternative. Now let's go and have a look at what each of these examination boards or examining bodies are offering. Shall we? Moving on. Once again into the beehive. Right. What are the qualifications on offer? Remember, we are mainly interested in O level and A level equivalent qualifications because these two examining bodies are offering a wide range of qualifications which we don't need to discuss at this point. Let's look at Edexcel. Edexcel offers IGCSC. IGCSC stands for International General Certificate of Secondary Education. Uh, if you are familiar with the term GCSC, that is the one which is offered in the United Kingdom. And the version introduced internationally is known as simple IGCSC. That is an O-level equivalent qualification. We are moving on to IAL. Now you are familiar with this. Remember we discussed about IAL when we were doing UCI number video. This is international advanced level. This is needless to say an A level qualification. Edexcel offers a second A level qualification which is known as just advanced level. Uh, there are some major differences between these two which I think we need to do a separate video to discuss in detail as to why there are two A-level qualifications and which one you should take. So let's keep it for now 
what you can do is you can go to the edexcel website just google search typing edexcel and you can go and read about all these qualifications in detail including their specifications likewise for cambridge which we are going to check now now cambridge remember cambridge assessment international education uh, shortened as caie it used to uh, be known as cie cambridge international examination now they have changed the name now it's caie you can pronounce it like as Kai. That's what I do. So under Cambridge, you get likewise in Edexcel, IGCSE, an O level equivalent qualification. They also offer Cambridge O level. Now, if you are wondering why there are two qualifications under O level or similar to O levels, the same thing as a level incident under edexcel so let's discuss those separate in a different video otherwise this video is going to drag on for about an hour the time you don't have to spend then thirdly they offer an advanced level qualification now if you look at quickly compare edexcel and cambridge edexcel offers one o level equivalent qualification if you are familiar with the local term general certificate education O level, ordinary level, and Excel offers one qualification and two advanced level equivalent qualifications. But Cambridge does the exact opposite. They offer two O level equivalent qualification and an advanced level qualification. I'm sure you would be interested in knowing what are the key differences, why you have to choose uh, one, not the other, and vice versa. But we'll discuss them as and when time permits in the future, hopefully. Now, let's go and have a look what we are going to do next. Yes. So, in uh, one of the upcoming videos, which I hope I'll be able to do very soon, I'm going to discuss and compare the differences between these local and international qualifications. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Why should one do local, not international, and vice versa? Remember, it won't be so in-depth analysis. I'll just look at some of the options and discuss them with you. Uh, there's another video, I'm sure, because when I said there are two key players in the international arena offering a level and o level qualifications you would always want to know why you need to take one product not the other and why you need to take cambridge not edexcel because when you have more than one things to choose from there's always going to be a big question mark so we'll try and discuss that also as to why you need to select edexcel or cambridge how you are going to select it and what are the options whether you should take local O level and international A level both together or you can take O local O levels alone and go for your higher studies or whether you should take international A levels as well so there are many questions I'm sure so this topic was predominant to address this loose term used as London O level and A level just wanted to tell you that term is no longer used or it no longer makes any sense. So if you are planning on doing an internationally recognized international or literary level or advanced level qualification, you have two major players. One is Pearson and Excel, the other is Cambridge, University of Cambridge. You would need to pick one from these two. Now the next question is whether someone can take both of them. Well, we can discuss that also when the video comes up. So keep tuned in. I'll try and do as many videos related to these topics as and when the time permits. So I uh, wish you all the very best in your upcoming examinations. If you are getting ready for an examination, you're thinking about it. 
you can read more about this edexcel and cambridge qualifications under the examination board websites uh, which i will put in the description so thank you for watching and